Hey gang, today we're going to do a simple blues turnaround. Uh, you may already know it, but if you don't, this is a great one to get under your belt. Uh, we'll do that, and we'll do a bunch of very. We'll do the one I just played. Plus, we'll do a, a some simpler variants, and we'll play it in a different couple of different positions. Uh, now, this one is in A. We're going to learn it in A, but it's use. We can play it anywhere we want. Um, this is a movable form, so uh, you can play it in any key. All right, and I do have the tab uh, for some of the variations in the basic one down below. You probably will not need it, but I do have it for you if you want it. I'll tell you what, let's learn the basic thing first, and then we'll take a little bit of time for theory just to see how it's working, and then you'll see how you can play it in other, uh, in other places. All right, so the basic one kind of goes like this. All right, and that's what I'm playing. But there's actually two different voices going on there, and we're going to break them up. Let's take the first thing that's going on here. The first thing that's going on here is I'm holding a high A on the first string, fifth fret. That's happening every time. And I'm plucking. So I'm, pl I'm playing with the lower strings uh, with my pick, and then the upper strings with my fingers. The top one I'm using my third finger, and any other strings, particularly the second string, I'm using my middle finger. Okay. So in this case, I'm not going to, let's learn the, let's learn this first. Oops. Okay. So that one is going from the top voice, uh, from the top voice we're holding at that A on the fifth fret, and then I'm plucking with my middle finger, or I'm sorry, with my third finger like so, and playing with the, with the pick on the fourth string. So I'm starting out on the 5th fret on the top string, which is an A, and I'm starting out on the 4th string on the 5th fret, which is a G. All right. So I'm approaching that E. I'm going chromatically from a G, which is on the 5th fret, down to an E, which is on the 2nd fret on that 4th string. Now just that little lick is really cool in and of itself. So if you want to just cop that one and skip the rest of this video, I wouldn't blame you. That works and you can play different things in syncopation. All right, so that works great. The top voice is playing here. So we're playing on the second string we're going from that C sharp, which is on the second fret, up to the fifth fret, which is an E. All right? So the interesting thing is, so we can play it like this. And that in and of itself is a good one. All right? So that works. And uh, now all we're going to do is combine them. Now this is a bit of a stretch so you know you'll have to get used to it. You have to stretch a little bit but after a while you do get used to it and we're just gonna play both at once. We're gonna move down on the top string and move up on the second string while keeping that top E... I'm sorry we're, we're gonna go down on the fourth string and up on the second string while keeping that first string anchored on that fifth fret. Okay? So like so. That last one's a stretch. You might want to just play it with your pinky like this. Okay, one more time. So what's going on there? So the first one we've got, let's just kind of go through what the frets will be uh, when we're playing each of these. So the first one will be 5, 2, 2, 5, starting from fourth string going all the way to the first string. All right, now I'm not really, I'm not really strumming all that. I'm picking on the fourth, and I'm I'm plucking with my two fingers on the set on the first two strings. Okay, the second one will be four, then uh, two, and then three and five. And now you just kind of switch these two fingers like this. So you've got three, two. Four and five. That's a strange sounding chord, but
but it's a good chord. And then finally, two, two, five, five. And then we're back on the E chord for the turnaround. And back to the A. Now what's going on there? Well, if you think about an A7 chord, an A7 chord is made up of the one, which is an A, the three, which is a C sharp, the five, which is an E, and the seventh, which is a, or the flatted seventh, which is a G. So in this case, what we're doing is we're trying to hold that A note down there, which is the root, and we're going to descend with the G. Oops. That's that one. And we're trying to ascend, get a little counterpoint action going on here. We're going to ascend with from the going from the third up to the up to the fifth of E. So everything's kind of converging on that E, which is kind of the, the whole point of it. We're going down to the E and up to the E at the same time. And that's why it works so well. That's the bottom voice going down. And then here's the approach from below starting from the third. All right, so there's lots of different variants that you can play. I just played a few of them uh, right there, but if you try your own, you'll be able to find lots of other variants. Like, for example, let's hold down this E, start from that fifth, which is, I'm sorry, from the flatted seventh, which is a G, and go down to the fifth, which is an E, like so, just on the second string. That works, right? That sounds great. Um, uh, let's see, let's try this one right here. Let's start out from the fifth. That sounds good too. Um, so we can do that. We can also come up from that C sharp. And that sounds good too. All right, so you can notice I just played the same thing right here. So anywhere you want to, as long as you can find that A note, you'll be able to play above it or below. Here's another A note right here. Maybe we'll come down uh, from the G all the way to the E. So it's kind of always worth Anyway, that's going to work anywhere you want it to. All right, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. I know it's really simple. but it's effective. We'll see you on down the road.